Hello YouTubers, this is Gotti and welcome to uh, not a like, let's play for once, how, a how to video. Basically how to install this ED new head mod. Since I, I don't know, I got a comment today from uh, a Polish person, I think, because I use Google Translate to understand what the person said. And um, he, she wanted to know how to install the mod. I, originally it was going to be a link, but it would have been confusing. Cause I think people wouldn't still understand exactly how to do it. So I just figured why not make a how-to video. So, there we go. I'll show you how to do. Oh, uh, this is something, I don't know. I can't get off my computer. Some stupid thing I downloaded, and then this happens. And this happens. So, this might happen a couple times. Anyway. <laughs> it's a site called Nexus Mods. You can download, like, good Mass Effect 3 mods. I'll leave that link in the description. And you click on Files. And you want to download the main package one. It's for the... Mass Effect 3 Explorer, which I should show first, actually. <laughs> yeah. This site right here, the, I download the Mass Effect 3 Explorer, which you can install mods at. I already have it download, but, you know, I'm just going to download it anyway just to show you what's up. I hate this stupid thing. <laughs> I got the download. Oh, you need a uh, Renrar 2 or some kind of RAR thing like 7-zip. I'm going to lend you a link to Renrar. And you need to install Renrar to, uh, you know, <laughs> unraw them like so then there will be all your files right here and you just extract two and pretty much extract them anywhere you want before you can find uh, the files but I'm not going to do that since I already have it and yeah and then you go back to this uh, that's a different one go back to this you download the main package Just click whatever, <laughs> really. I already have the mod like, already installed, but I might as well just show you what to do with the packages. And from here too, if you want like to uh, ED, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> ED as Eva without glasses. I mean visor. I got. I used this one. I didn't use that one. This one must be new. Should I just use the one I already had, or yeah, I just used the one I already had because that, that one's new. Like if you want to have her without with the visor, you don't. If that's if you want to, I prefer without the visor. That makes her look better. Unless it's during like uh, combat that she has it on automatically. Unless I probably download the one up top, but I rather have this one. And then I'm just gonna extract this. I'm gonna copy this where I can know what file it is. B desktop. And extracts. Takes some time, but uh computer's pretty fast, so it's like whatever. <laughs> and the one out divisor. Let's make it look cool. I said one way I can't well, I already proved that it works in a way with the other video, so I'm about to say can't sucks I can't really prove it. Cause um these mods are permanent, I'll tell you that now. So like if you wanna keep them they're really permanent. Like like at first when I first downloaded it, she looked like crap because I I did it totally wrong, I downloaded the wrong file, so she looked horrible. I downloaded it packaged from the main game and it basically it ruined everything. I had to download the very top one main packages, but I, I don't know, I didn't see it apparently. Or it was new, that's probably why. Or, no, wait, February? Yeah, probably it was new, that's why I missed that one. And, uh, the other ones will to work for mine, but if you want, you can get the eyelash fix or the head for a pack one. I got the add ons for DLC and a pack one, but I'm not gonna really get much. I mostly like the Beezer DLC and the pack one which will match all the outfits that you have for her which these work I the allies fix packs for main game uh, enhanced lightning I think that worked actually yeah uh, those all worked for me but everything else was just crap but that's just me so yeah and after that I recommend going to this this link which I'll send up to get her uh, outfit because without it, it'll look like shit. Basically, she'll stuff her her robotic pow uh, body, 
I was just like, oh, it looked crappy as hell. So, yeah, you don't want that. And then you want to download the main package, same thing as the other thing. Rename it, though, because I was just like, or I think, maybe there's different numbers, but if we won't get confused, just rename it as something else. I gotta show you what the, why I'm gonna rename it to, why I renamed it before. And then you also want the, the, the where is it? Yeah, let me just extract this. I'm just gonna rename this, like I said, to just ed. Oops, close. Let's copy. It's the first I have to do in a high two video, so I'm like kind of like, <laughs> you know. Extract. It would have been better if, if these weren't permanent, so I can't really, like, you know, reinstall them and then show you guys how exactly to do it by installing them, but, you know, I don't want to copy over them and then F it up and that to fix it later. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Optional files? Yeah, yeah, optional files. Packaged with human neck neckline. As in, like, her neckline, you know, will have, like, skin on it pretty much, so she'll look more, like, all human. That I have you saw in the other video. So you want this, or you just want to look weird. And that's all for downloads. So now, like I said, I'll send that WinRAR link later. Just gotta wait till this is done downloading. There we go. Just copy this. Desktop, type, and paste in, yeah. That's it for that. Oh, what I want to do is, there they are, I was like, where the hell are they? <laughs> And then what you want to do is open up MP3 Explorer. Oh yeah, I did show you something real quick. Um, I have a Windows 8 computer, but I had to change it in order for the mods to work. I'm not sure why. To just go to right-click properties and compatibility compatibil and change it to Windows XP Service Pack 3. Because like I don't know, it works. The mods work perfectly when I set it to that. It did work for Windows 8, I don't know why. Maybe it did, but I downloaded their own mods, like I said. So, I don't know, but th this actually worked for me. I could be wrong, it probably could work either way, but I just recommend having that on, I guess. And then just open it. And then what you want to do is go to Developing Tools, I think? <laughs> If they see uh no tools. Okay, yeah. Mod maker. And then you wanna click on file low jobs. Desktop. Uh, the main package is the head. And then you want to install both of these. And then I'll, I'll load them. Mad jobs. And after that, you want to run them. And then run all. And then I'll basically install them all in the game. You keep doing that for each one. Like you do that to like. But after you do that, make sure they clear the jobs off easy. Like I said, I'm not going to run because I already have them installed and they're permanent. So I don't want to, like, you know, accidentally, like, F up something. Later I'll show you, like, you know, the gameplay or not gameplay, but it again. I just want to do the same thing. Go to this. Then the close. Well, after, after you do the main package, do the without visor. And just install that. 
and then same run all clear whoops and then next uh and then next do the neckline and then the ed clothes and just basically do the same thing load job and then run them all and then they should be all loaded up that I'll be like done <laughs> and that's pretty much it actually that's all you really need to do so you gotta make sure that it's a download it's a lot of downloading stuff but like I said you can add more stuff but and then you just need to like run them all and then when you enter the game they all should be working pretty good again I think it'll show it by going the game I'm not sure To show you a bit of, uh, just just a bit about it. What ED? Actually, never mind. I'm a bit far out away. I'm not at a part with ED. <laughs> so never mind. <laughs> I was trying to remember where I was at. But that's pretty much it. You just need to keep. You can download all the files. Have put them in, or load them in MP3 Explorer, and then run all of them, and then keep clearing them before you run the next one. And then pretty much you'll have your own human ED. Simple as that. <laughs> it's, it's a really cool mod. When I, when I finally got it to work, I was excited. Because uh, it's just really awesome to have like an uh, ED mod thing. And if you want to download more mods, you know, just check out Nexus right here. Nexus Mods. Really good site for downloading really good mods. Like for any game, my computer is going like really slow for some weird reason, and I don't have time for this. <laughs> like, come on, computer, I'm recording. You're making people wait. Yeah, I don't know why the hell is going so slow. It's being really, really dumb. But yeah, if you want to go to Nexus Mods, it has a bunch of games like Dragon Age, Fallout, whatever, and you can download a bunch of mods for any game you want. Mass Effect 3 is like the top ones that will show up. So, if you, but the most Mass Effect 3 mods you either have to install yourself you have to install yourself or you have to um like uh what about to say oh you have to like use the mp3 explorer which is just like really easy to show like how i just showed you they have some they mods really good mods i'm basically giving them props because yeah they're, they're really good <laughs> i download so many mods here and this thing popped up for some reason like they always do and yeah Get awesome mods from Mass Effect 3. You need MP Explorer. You need to uh, liberate the instruction to install them manually. I think most of them are MP Explorer, so I think most of them are just really easy to to do. Hopefully, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys. I hope I explained it right for you guys to know what I'm saying. Since I said I didn't want to install it again because it's permanent. So remember that permanent. So you have to be sure that you want the, that mod and. That's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you in another Let's Play of Lone Survivor when I do that. So, later.